No, 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 it's not even your turn. No, 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 hey, 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 you're gay. I'm telling you, the atom is an identical replica of a billiard ball. Well, not an exact replica because of the fact that the atom is much smaller in size and indestructible to anything we could do to it. <sighs> it's obvious that you didn't read the notes I left for you, for you still don't seem to understand that for an atom to be neutral, it must have an equal amount of positive particles and negative particles. Therefore, it would not be a pure solid object like your billiard ball, but more of a plum pudding model. What? How could an atom be anything like plum pudding? The very definition of an atom is it's the smallest particle in an element. Which is why we call such positive and negative particles subatomic. But the fact that there might be these subatomic particles contradicts the definition of an atom. Ugh! Both of you guys get over yourself because you're both wrong. We all know that your models are outdated. Well, for what, the 1800s? I mean, there's a new generation of intelligence. <laughs> My generation. What? what? My friend here has a point, but you must admit that my model of the atom is the most advanced and accurate. No, uh, your model you isn't no, even close to the whole way here my, people. my model is the most accurate. The atom is a small, compact core surrounded by electrons circling the core. What now? The course of the center of the solid compact compression of protons and neutrons, negative charged electrons circling the, <laughs> circling the nucleus is a much better model if I do say so myself. Huh. Then you have some issues because the true form of an atom, although very similar to yours, is that the electrons that you call circling the nucleus actually happen to be orbiting it as planets would around a sun. Thank you. Now, these electrons orbit in specific energy levels called orbitals, where each electron will fall into a certain orbital depending on its spin. Oh, please, how can you say that when electrons follow a certain path? Well, it's better than making the atom look all crazy with electrons going mad and stuff. Call me mad? Maybe. I'm telling you, the atom is an identical replica of a billiard ball. Or it would not be a pure solid object like your billiard ball, but more of a plum pudding model. Ugh! Both of you guys get over yourself because you're both wrong. admit that my model of the atom is the most advanced and accurate. There's only one way to settle this.
But you know who I am? I am Scoringer, creator of the election crowd. Just stop me again! Oh, 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 what was the point?